Hello everyone. In this video, let us study coding guidelines, important questions and answers. In your CPC exam, you will get 7 questions from coding guidelines section. You can see here, this is your CPC exam pattern and from coding guidelines, you will get 7 questions. So, don't ignore this section. So, in coding guidelines, they will ask questions from ICD 10 CM official guidelines for coding and reporting and CPT coding guidelines and parenthetical notes and they will also ask about modifier U. It will be multiple choice questions only. So now let's study the important questions. First question, which statement is true regarding the instruction for use of the CPT codebook? Option A, an unlisted code when a procedure is modified. Option B. Parenthetical instructions define each code listed in the codebook. Option C. Select the name of the procedure or service that most closely approximate the procedure or service performed. Option D. Select the name of the procedure or service that accurately identifies the service performed. So, can you think of the right answer? The right answer is option D. That is regarding the instruction for use of the CPT codebook, we have to select the name of the procedure or service that accurately identifies the service performed. Next question. What are some examples of fracture after care? Option A. Follow up for healed fracture, cast change, medication adjustment. Option B. Follow up for healed fracture, cast change. Option C. Follow up for healed fracture, medication adjustment. Option D. Cast change medication adjustment. So, the question is about example of fracture after care. So, it won't be healed fracture, right? It won't be follow up for healed fracture. So, our right answer will be option D. That is cast change medication adjustment, which is for fracture after care. Next question. In the CPT professional edition, the same detailed definition for separate procedures can be located in which main section guidelines? Option A, e &M, Surgery and Medicine. Option B, Medicine, Radiology, Surgery. Option C, Radiology, Surgery, Pathology and Laboratory. Option D, Cardiovascular System, Radiology and Medicine. So, the right answer will be Option B, that is Medicine, Radiology and Surgery. So, you can check in your CPT book. At the beginning of main section guidelines for medicine, radiology and surgery, you can find definition for separate procedure. Next question. The semicolon is used in the CPT book to save space. Words following the semicolon can specify which of the following. Option A. Extent of the service modifier specific anatomic site. Option B. Extent of service Specific anatomic site unlisted services. Option C. Extent of the service. Specific anatomic site alternative procedure. Option D. Unlisted services alternative procedure. Specific anatomic site. The right answer is option C. Extent of the service. Specific anatomic site alternative procedure. Which place of service code should be reported on the physician's claim for surgical procedure? performed in the ASC. So, in this question, they are asking about place of service code. So, where will you find the place of service code in your CPT book? That is in the very first page. When you open your CPT book, the first page will be place of service codes for professional claims. Under that, you find ASC, that is Ambulatory Surgical Center. And you can see place of service code is 24. So, our right answer will be option C. For example, if they ask you place of service code for urgent care facility, then your answer will be 20. So, whenever they ask for place of service codes, you have to refer that page. So, here our answer is option C. 24 for ambulatory surgical center. Next question. Which of the following procedures can be coded separately when performed by the anesthesiologist? Option A. Administration of blood. Option B. Monitoring of a central venous line. Option C. Capnography. Option D. Monitoring of an EKG. So, in your CPT book under Anesthesia Guidelines, second paragraph, you can find what procedures are included and which procedures are not included. So, you can see that unusual forms of monitoring, example, intra-arterial, central venous and swan gans are not included. 
सो सेंट्रल वीनस इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड सो अवर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज दिस सर्विस हैज टू बी कोडेड सेपरेटली वेन परफॉर्म बाई एनस्टेशोलॉजिस्ट बिकॉज इट इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड सो राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी Coding guidelines for assigning ICD 10 CM codes for neoplasm states that if documented which of the following should be referenced first to locate the correct code option A the neoplasm table in the alphabetic index option B tabular list option C histological term in the alphabetic index option D histological term in the tabular list so your right answer will be option A that is neoplasm table in the alphabetic index so if neoplasm is documented first we have to check the neoplasm table in the alphabetic index next question the surgical global package applies to service performed in ward setting option a hospitals option b physician office option c ambulatory surgical center option d all of the above the right answer is option d all of the above the surgical global package applies to services performed in all of these settings next question Physical status modifiers are appended to codes listed in which major section of the CPT book? Option A, E&M. Option B, Anesthesia. Option C, Surgery. Option D, Medicine. Physical status modifiers are appended to which section codes? Can you guess the right answer? The right answer is Anesthesia. While coding for Anesthesia, you might have seen that we use physical status modifiers. It is mentioned in the guideline section of anesthesia there are physical status modifiers such as p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and p6 so all these modifiers we use while coding anesthesia next question when you see the symbol hash that is this symbol in front of a cpt code what does it mean option a the code is listed out of the numerical order option b the code is listed in numerical order option c that the code used to be listed with a different number option d that the code description has changed answering this question is very easy when you open your cpt book first you can find symbols right so in that you can see hash is for out of numerical sequence that is this symbol is used to indicate that it is resequenced code and the code is listed out of numerical order so right answer is option a next question wound exploration codes include the following service option a exploration and repair option b exploration including enlargement removal of foreign body repair option c exploration including enlargement repair and necessary grafting option d exploration including enlargement debridement removal of foreign body minor vessel ligation and repair so to find the answer wound exploration codes come under which chapter musculoskeletal right so if you don't know it comes under which chapter the simple trick is go to the index of your cpt book and find the term wound under wound you can find exploration so under that you will get the code range 20102 20101 they have mentioned so directly go and check this code range so above that you will find wound exploration guideline so in that they have mentioned exploration enlargement extension of dissection debridement removal of foreign body minor vessel ligation and all that so it is matching with the option d so option d is the right answer next question how is an endoscopic diagnostic bronchoscopy coded if it is performed by the same physician during the same session as a surgical bronchoscopy option a 31622 option b 31624 option c 31625 option d surgical bronchoscopy includes diagnostic bronchoscopy when performed by the same physician in the same session so if you get confused directly go to this code range in your cpt book and above that you will find the guideline for endoscopy that is surgical bronchoscopy always includes diagnostic bronchoscopy when performed by the same physician so our right answer is option d In the next video we'll solve some more questions related to coding guidelines so stay tuned.